We're not live, but we're gonna pretend like we're live. And I'm gonna say this to you. Everyone out there watching us on YouTube, not live, but on replay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi. My name is Joe Fu. I am the director here at Camp Pencil Point, a place where we like to draw with nonsense and tomfoolery. Today, I'm joined by my very good friend, Emily Zelasko. Today, I'm joined by my other very good friend, Chef Miker, making the return to his hometown, Berkeley, Michigan. I'm also joined by my good friend, Emily Zelasko. There she is. Not making a return to Berkeley, Michigan, because she never lived here. But it's all good. I'm also joined by a few hundred people here in the rain, here at the Berkeley Art Bash. Nothing stops. It, honestly, it's an awful day for an art fair, as the rain comes pouring down on us. But nothing stops good artwork. Not even bad weather like this. It's supposed to be thunderstorms rolling in. It's going to be fun. Finally, I'm also joined by you, all the Camp Pencil Pointers, at home watching this on replay. Thanks for stopping by. We'd love it if you sketched with us. It doesn't matter what age you are. You could be the age three, you could be the age of 30, you could be the age of 300. Whatever age you are, just get out your pencils. Get out your pens, get out your brushes, get out your paper, get out your canvas, get out that five-year-old guacamole in the back of the fridge, if that's what you want to use. Whatever you do, just sketch along with us. And parents, we encourage you to sketch along with your kids because, like I always say, creativity is a better, is always better when it's a shared experience. Speaking of sharing, please share Camp Pencil Point with your family and your friends. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you'll always be aware when we go live with new content and you can sketch along with us. So today, like I said earlier, I'm here with my good friends Emily and I'm here with Mike, Chef Miker. We're here at Berkeley Art Bash and we're going to do a drawing and we're going to do a new game, a brand new game I just thought of. It might not work. In fact, it probably won't work, but we're going to try it. Chef Miker has no idea what he's doing. Emily kind of has an idea of what we're doing. So. If you haven't, if you don't follow me on on the uh, Instagram, you should because every so often, Drew or I will throw out a call for entries, a call for suggestions on what we should draw for the next episode at Camp Pencil Point. So we got a ton of suggestions that are absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So I figured we're going to use all of them today. All these suggestions. Chef Miker is going to draw all of your suggestions in what I am calling the Daredevil Gauntlet. And we're going to keep calling it that until we get a cease and desist. Matt Murdock, I know you're a lawyer. Anyway, we're going to play a little game I just invented called the Daredevil Gauntlet. Now, the character Daredevil is a blind superhero. It means you can't see, but Everything else is heightened. All his other senses, yeah. senses are heightened. So what is Chef Micker going to do? He's going to draw. He's going to draw blind. He's going to draw every one of these suggestions blind. But his other senses are going to be heightened. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Chef Micker, do you want to don the blindfold? Chef Micker will be blindfolded now. He's kind of blind without his glasses anyway. But... He's gonna put that extra, extra emphasis on blindness, not being able to see what he draws. Now the reason why we're doing this is because sometimes when you do artwork, people are very concerned. They're very worried about their end result, their end product. Hey, how's it going? Emily's making a sale as we speak, live television. <laughs> so people are concerned with their, their final product. They're very worried about what their final product's gonna be. If this case, you're really working against 
you're working against a lot of factors. So you really probably aren't gonna get the best piece of artwork at all. So just go for it, have fun, and enjoy yourself. And that's what we're all gonna do. We're all gonna have fun at Micro's expense. And we're gonna get some, hopefully some fun drawings out of it as well. He's been, he's been putting this blindfold on for like 20 minutes now. So we're waiting for Chef Mike. Let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready so I can walk you out. I'll walk you out. This is live, everyone. It's not live, we're on replay. I'm not gonna stop it though. It's gonna be uploaded as soon as. It's taking them forever to put on this blindfold. Are you there? Here. Come here. Here he is. There he is, guys. Notice he's wearing Tigger blindfold. It's a tie. It's really a tie that he had. Okay, I'm going to position you. I'm going to position Mike. Alright, so there's, your, there's, your. there's the middle of the paper. I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit so you can see. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit on what Mike's doing. Alright. He's, he's dropping the... He's going to drop that cap. I'm going to get the cap. Hold on. So Emily's going to help us out with this video. Mike is going to draw blindly, but his senses are going to be heightened because he cannot see, just like Daredevil. You're gonna draw, Mike, all these suggestions, and I'll tell you when to stop and when to keep going, or when to start a new one. And you're not gonna be able to see anything, but you're gonna go on your artistic instinct. We're gonna keep flipping the pages so you get a new drawing every time. You ready, you ready, Chef Miker? Emily, are you ready? Boy, are we ever so ready? <clears throat> from my friend Stephanie, she wanted to see, uh, as actually from her daughter, she wanted to see Princess Elena of Avalor. Chef Miker, draw Princess Elena of Avalor. There he goes. Notice the sensation of touch is being enhanced right now as Mike draws blindly. There we go. Princess Elena of Avalor, everyone, you can stop. Flipping the page. My fr our friend Jesse said, aha, you're gonna have to use your knowledge in this one. Uh, anything riding a winged roller coaster. Do you know what a winged roller coaster is, Mike? Well, just draw a wing roller coaster or something riding a roller coaster, I guess. Come on, Emily. Let's have some fun. Get in there. <laughs> there you go. There are a lot of dogs here today. It might not be a good thing for dogs to eat these, these noodles. What is. There you go. Let's take a step over this way for a second. Okay, there you go. Sit. No, right there. There you go. The uh, so anything right in a winged roller coaster. <laughs> so turn, turn like this. Okay, there you go. That's there. It is. Our uh, our friend Alex. There you go. Our friend Alex said Minnie Mouse as a mermaid. We have a lot. We have a lot of this. So you know. <laughs> Minnie Mouse is a mermaid, everyone. Uh, turn the page. Go step back for a second. There you go. Minnie Mouse is a mermaid. All right. Next one is from our friend, our friend Alex in Fantasyland. Um, no, that was Alex in Fantasy. Our friend Jenna from Minnesota uh, wants a dancing turtle. What? Is that a cat? A cat? Where? On your leg? Not at all. Yeah. 
There you go. That dancing. Oh, step away first. Dancing turtle. Uh, uh, I'm gonna skip Vinny Mouse for now because it's a good one. Uh, we'll go right to uh, our friend Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer said animal crackers. So you're good to go. Animal crackers is next. That's a good animal cracker. Wow. It's blind, but he's blind, folks. You cannot see through that tie. Uh, who else did? Okay, so now, okay. So Macy, who lives in uh, the Macy Mouse Club from Instagram said, a happy sailboat. So you're set to go. Happy sailboat. Oh, I lost them there. Here we go. Antoinette said, uh, Stitch, the character Stitch, dressed like Donald Duck. Happy birthday, Donald. Happy birthday, Donald. That's right. Today is Donald's birthday. Let's have a, a little... Leave that right there. We'll push that down in there a little bit. <laughs> Hit the other side too, Emily. While we're there. <laughs> there we go. I think you, I think you can see. This is that's a really good stitch. Dressed as Paul. Okay, we're flipping. Uh, who else? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is uh, summer. I don't know what you're thinking. Maybe you could choose like two of these. Well, I'll choose three of these items. Giraffe, penguin, lemur, Pocahontas, Dole Whip on a cruise ship. <laughs> so, uh, so just pick two or three. Or uh, do all of them, bro. I don't know. We'll do whatever you want. A little side note, the rain's coming down a little harder. People are coming out no matter what. Berkeley Art Fair. Berkeley Art Bash, I'm sorry. Doing a little Daredevil gauntlet. We might never do this again. There's a lemur, a giraffe, penguin. Uh, Pocahontas, po Pocahontas, Dole Whip, or on a cruise ship. So you got the cruise ship, you got the giraffe, and I think a lemur is happening. I don't know what's happening in this. I don't know what this guy is. Oh, it's Pocahontas. Ah, Pocahontas is right there. Pocahontas. All right, I think you're done. Oh, there you go. Summer, not bad, huh? Supposedly, this is all blind. He's really amazing for a, a blind man. Um, who do you want to do now? So, my, our friend Lulu uh, from Florida. Lulu from Florida wants a roller coaster riding zebra. So, a zebra riding a roller coaster. There's a lot of roller coaster themes happening now. <laughs> I don't know how you're not seeing this, but are you done? Or are you just freaking out? Okay, that's that's a well. There you go. Uh, who's next? Lilo, Lilo the Lost Princess. Our friend Lilo the Lost Princess. You ready, Mike? You ready for this? A possum making toast while wearing an oversized cowboy hat. There he goes. Pull on that, yeah, let shake that down in there. Shake all that down in there. Once again, heightened sentence, senses. This heightened sense of touch happening right now. Just like Matt Murdock. That, uh, now I know that you can't see. Oversized uh, cowboy hat, possum making toast. But not bad, there's the toast. We're coming down to the end, Mike. 
Let me see. Who's left? Who's left? All right, this is the last one, Biker. Last one, you ready? Our friend Benny Mouse. Oh, Benny Mouse and that crazy imagination. Suggested. <laughs> I love this. Uh, suggested a mouse riding a cat, riding a dog, riding a bicycle. Here we go. That's why. That's why Emily is great. can't see folks because he doesn't have his glasses. I said that in the beginning of the video. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, oh you got my hair. Let me get the remove the sharp A. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to get a shot of this in a minute but first of all let's go through the list. Princess Elena of Avalor for Stephanie's daughter. Jesse was next. You know Jesse. Big roller coaster fan that Jesse is. Anything riding a winged roller coaster. Not bad. Uh, Alex from Fantasyland. Minnie Mouse Mermaid. Also pretty good. Oh wow. That's really decent. I wonder how long she has no face. And she has no face, but you were you also were blind. Uh, Jenna was next, I believe. Our, our friend Jenna from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh -huh. Dancing Turtle. Dancing Turtle, Jenna, not bad. Uh, who's next? Uh, Jennifer, who said Animal Cracker. That's a, that's a good Animal Cracker. The happy animal. There's noodles all over the place. I'm going to get a shot of this in a second. This is amazing. Um, a happy sailboat for, for Macy. That's a good... That's, look at it. You got the face in there and everything. Wow. This is uh, fish dressed like Donald Duck. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's supposed to be fighting Oh, he's angry, but he's not, but he's smiling. So, you know, whatever. Uh, next one is uh, Summer. Summer. Uh, giraffe, Penguins, Lemur, Pocahontas, Dole Whip on a cruise ship. I think you got, like, everything but the Dole Whip you don't have to do. But everything's there. Uh, Lulu from Florida says Zebra, uh, zebra Riding Roller Coaster. Well, somewhere there's a zebra, but the roller coaster is definitely there. Next one. This is a possum wearing an oversized cowboy hat making toast. There's the toast. Cowboy hat right there. Possum. Uh, Lila the Lost Princess, thank you for that suggestion. And Benny Mouse, there you go, Benny. Everyone's balanced. It's a mouse riding a cat, riding a dog, riding a bicycle. Not bad. So, the aftermath. Let's just look down at this. That is, uh... That is what happens when you play Daredevil Gauntlet. Well, we got some pretty impressive drawings, and we got some great suggestions from some Really cool people from Instagram. So thank you very much. Don't step on the noodles, but come in the frame. <laughs> I'll, I'll slide over here. So you guys can come in the frame. You're okay. Do you want to come through? We're out. You can look right here. We're just going to sign off. Just go over here. We'll sign off real quick. Because Emily's going to make some sales. So, as we've demonstrated, Sometimes you get some great stuff when everything is totally working against you. 
You can't see. There's spaghetti going down the back of your shirt, and it's raining. But sometimes you get some pretty good stuff. So <laughs> have fun drawing. That's the most important thing. Just go out there and let it all go and just have a lot of fun and laugh a lot and laugh and enjoy yourself. So let's see what you guys could do at home. Don't like make spaghetti messes all over your house because then we'll get a lot of angry emails. Got some wind happening. We'll get some angry emails then, so don't do that. But whatever you do, just have a lot of fun and enjoy your drawings. So anything else? Got a lot of lettuce. I couldn't have said it better myself until, my, until that. So anyway, like always, sketch for at least 20 minutes every day. That'll keep your pencils dull, but your skills sharp. We had some spaghetti. We had a spaghetti incident. It, it happens. Dude, it, dude, we had there was like 50 dogs out earlier. I wonder where they all went. Draw for at least 20 minutes every day. That'll keep your pencils dull, but your skills sharp. Support the arts and support your favorite artists by liking their stuff on social media, sharing their stuff, and complimenting their stuff. Lastly, and most importantly, you, Camp Pencil Pointers at home, never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Until next time, keep drawing.